Hey everybody, this is Ocular Cavity back here again with another video. And right now we're going to be talking about motor and drivetrain temperatures on the UDR. I had this car since day one, love it, but the motor gets really hot. When I first got it, the motor would get so hot, driving it casually, even trail driving where I was driving at walking pace, and then maybe for moments driving it at 50%, and then back down to walking pace again. Even while at walking pace, the motor would continue to heat up. So, first move. bought a, I had a hobby wing heat sink on another car that I used to, didn't need it took the fan and if you can see up here I dremeled the side of it off to make it fit because clearance was so tight there was no way you're getting a heat sink on here this was going to rub against the fan and anytime there was pressure you hear the fan go whizz, whizz from it rubbing against the housing so I had to tremble that down zip tight there was just no clearance to do much else bought a GPM fan heat sink thing for the back Interesting design. It, it takes off the plastic end of the can and replaces it with an aluminum heat sink design. Great in theory, but poor execution in a lot of areas. One area was the adapter. This adapter will not work. Do not use it. If I like I have a max amps battery that uses a single plug, as you can see. This is not a 22 volt fan, it's a 12 volt fan. So if you hook it to 22 volts, you will fry it. And this has a JST plug on the other end. So if you get this fan, run it at half speed, it go JST to a server connector and connect it to the receiver. Just do that. It will. This, even if you have two batteries, if you accidentally plug this into the wrong battery, you will still fry it. And if you don't plug it into the wrong battery, you will drain one battery slightly faster than the other. And it's like, it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. Go, for the, go to the, the receiver for power. It just doesn't make any sense. Even with these two fans on there, the fan the motor was doing much better, but not perfect, but it was acceptable. I would consider it acceptable, right? Then my next notice was the drivetrain was getting hot. This drive shaft here was getting hot. Back when this was plastic, this was getting hot. There was some heat in here, but I couldn't tell exactly where it was coming from because it was just a generally hot area, hot motor, hot, all of it felt hot. And when I took out the battery, I could feel the heat, but I couldn't tell where it was coming from, right? So I bought aluminum diff housing, aluminum transmission housing, and aluminum front bulkhead just to try to keep the weight evenly distributed between the whole car. These parts definitely make the car interesting to watch. I like the car looks more real now. It doesn't roll over as easy because there's more weight bottom down. It does make the car a tad bit slower. Like it gets up to the same kind of top speeds it feels like, but it takes more to get there because the tires have a harder time gripping and getting you that forward push. So be prepared that if you add this much weight, you will probably slow down your car a bit. Not that this car isn't fast anyway. I still don't care. Whatever speed I lost, I don't miss it. Once I change these parts, this no longer gets hot. This barely warm. This is like hand temperature when you touch it. Even after a hot run, barely warm. It feels about the same as your skin temperature does. This is slightly above skin temperature where this was before was almost so hot it could burn you. The motor hardly get it gets hot but it doesn't get as hot as it used to it's still considerably better within the acceptable range of any car like now it feels the same as my Centin v2 does only that doesn't need a fan and this one does transmission area still gets hot now i i'm pretty sure the heat is coming from planetary gear reductions this one is definitely i upgraded both of them they were originally plastic i upgraded them to aluminum see this is how they originally look I upgraded them both to aluminum from the same manufacturer of the diff housing, different, the center transmission housing and the front bulkhead. They did a decent enough job. This one's excellent. For some reason, the one here feels like it's slightly rubbing on the ring gear that goes around this bit. And I used the Dremel to shave it back, but it doesn't seem like that's enough. I'll look into that more later. So this area still gets hot. If I drive the car casually, trail driving 50% and below, this doesn't get hot, this doesn't get hot, this doesn't get hot, which is excellent. Where before, no matter what I did without the fans, without these, it would get hot, even at 50% throttle, it would just continue to climb. Nothing brought the temperature down other than turning the car off and letting it sit for like a half hour. So now, if, I, if the motor starts getting hot, drive it at a casual pace, heat goes away, this stays cool, this stays cool drive it past 50% throttle for long periods, this will get hot. The hottest I've seen this get is between 160 and 190 degrees Fahrenheit, which is not great, but at least this is aluminum, so it's not gonna fatigue. Same with this, this is, not, this is now aluminum, so it will not fatigue. So that was the main reason I did these. I didn't expect the heat to instantly go away. I greased them all up with the best quality grease I could get, but you know, there's only so much you can do, and the planetary gear reductions are nine to one. So they're spinning nine times as fast as the wheels are. So that's a lot of lot of friction to get rid of. 
the good news is this seems to be better than it was, so maybe it's breaking in. This one didn't need any break-in period, it just works excellent. Need a new drive shaft. These drive shafts do not hold up. Even with the less heat, they still don't hold up. And I think it has to do now with the weight. It could be the extra weight of the car. This car is now as heavy as it was before the metal upgrades with a battery. Now it's that heavy without the battery. So without this battery in here, this car is as heavy as the old version with the battery because of all the aluminum. So consider that. If you're the kind of guy that jumps it, don't go for these upgrades and just save some money for our planetary gear reductions and drivetrain pieces. And do get the fans, though. This fan for sure. This fan, I don't know. I had to shave off one of the lobes because it was rubbing against the the, the um, drive shaft. Let me see if I have a drive shaft with the marks on it. This one has some marks from where it was rubbing. And you can see it a little bit better with the light on it. But yeah, this rubs. And, and there's no way around it, so I just shaved it. Shaved the crap off of it. Shaved an entire lobe off. And that helps. But it's now running at half speed, so it's not cooling as well as it could. Now, you probably don't even need the fan on here. I bet you that if you just took the plastic bed out of the motor, put the aluminum heat sink on there, that heat sink alone would help temperatures better than the... I'm not even sure the fan's doing much. Right now I have the fan pulling heat away, pushing it out, because it was jamming a lot when it was pulling air in. Don't know if that's an improvement or not, but I'm going to keep checking. It feels like it's not doing it as well as it was before, so I might just take the cover off and flip it back around and have it blowing cool air onto the motor instead of pulling hot air away. We'll see. But the holes on the bottom are smaller, so this fan doesn't jam up as much because there's less dirt and rocks going in and more hot air coming out, I guess. But this fan never jams. Go to Hobby Wing. It's like five, six bucks. It even comes with a heat sink. You will not be able to use the heat sink on this car. Maybe you can use it on another. This fan is worth it. Just for the five bucks, this is like 30 bucks. This fan for five bucks does more than this fan for 30. So if you're only gonna pick one, get this one at Hobby Wings website. It comes with a blue heat sink, about the size of a motor that you run on the 3S car, like a slash or something. Get this one and then zip tie it here, shave some bit off so that there's clearance for the panel to close and call it a day. Now this car, because of this, makes a good deal of racket. Now listen to this. You hear all those fans. That's a lot of fans. Now, good news is they work and they do the job. Bad news is they're noisy. So if you don't like the noise, just make sure you give your car plenty of rest periods in between driving it and all that. Now, I showed you my other video that I'm doing the steering upgrade. The steering is now in. Got a new servo, aluminum steering, you know, bell crank. Nice and fast. And it's really strong actually moves the car. The steering is so strong that it moves the car. So definitely, definitely happy with this servo. It's about $50 on AliExpress or Banggood. Definitely feeling it. Might be able to get a little bit more throw out of the steering, so I might adjust it a bit. But right now, this will do. Well, anyway, guys, next video, hopefully it'll be a running video. Catch you next time. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe and just keep an eye on the channel. Catch you guys later.